Hi, you're listening to the Psychopharmacology Institute podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Wagdan Rashad, and this is a show that aims to help you, the mental health clinician, stay sharp on Psychopharm. Our episode today is about olanzapine-induced weight gain. It's estimated that between 22% and 80% of patients taking olanzapine will gain weight. So in an attempt to curb this, the clinical research has been experimenting with mu opioid receptor blockers like naltrexone and samidorphan for this purpose. Now, mu opioid antagonists work by suppressing the appetite for food, as far as we understand. So today I'm going to be featuring a quick take with Dr. Jim Phelps on a paper that discusses how efficacious samidorphan is for olanzapine-induced weight gain in patients with schizophrenia. All right, take it away, Jim. For our next quick take, let's look at a new study just appearing in the current American Journal of Psychiatry Advance publication in March of 2019 on a compound called Samidorphan. It's a mu opioid receptor blocker. And here we're looking at whether or not adding it for patients who are taking olanzapine and experiencing weight gain can attenuate or reverse that weight gain relative to placebo. You've used plenty of olanzapine, surely, and so just as surely you've seen people gaining weight on it. The background data suggests that rate is somewhere between 22 and 68 or 80 percent, something like that. It's huge. In this study, it was 65 percent. So amongst those patients in that 65 percent group who were gaining weight, they were randomized to receive placebo or varying doses of samidorphan in this phase two clinical trial. Just in case Samidorphan is not familiar to you, it wasn't to me. So let's back up a second and look at mu opioid receptor antagonists. That's naltrexone, which is the longer acting version of naloxone, its short acting cousin. And then now we have this new compound, Samidorphan, which has a longer half life as its principal difference and somewhat greater affinity for the mu opioid receptor. So does it help to block weight gain? There had been a positive phase one trial. You may have seen the literature on naltrexone for weight loss. And so here we are looking at a new compound with perhaps more affinity for the relevant receptor. And might it be more effective than naltrexone at blocking weight gain? Well, first of all, let's find out if it works at all. And in this phase two trial, they were looking for the best dosages. And here's the results. So it was more effective than placebo in blocking weight gain. But it wasn't magic. The placebo group experienced a weight gain of 4% over their baseline body weight versus on the samidorphan, 3% gain over their baseline. Now, the placebo group could switch to open label samidorphan after 12 weeks. And when they did so, they lost weight a little bit after peaking at 5% over their baseline. They came down to 4 While the patients who'd been on samidorphan all along since the second week of the study, they were at 3% still at that point. So they maintained a stable net increase of no more than 3% relative to their baseline. So yes, samidorphan helped. It helped more than placebo. I think the clinical effect is relevant, but not very big. How about adverse effects? Well, about 10% across all the doses had somnolence versus 4% on placebo, and nothing else really stood out as being vastly greater than placebo, enough to guide your clinical work. Now for an important question, does samidorphan help more than generic naltrexone? You might have seen a 2014 pilot study from a group at Yale University where in patients taking antipsychotics, When they added naltrexone for weight loss, there was a weight loss of three and a half kilograms over eight weeks versus in the control group, a one and a half kilogram weight gain. So this was really stunning. But in that study, everyone was overweight to start and everyone was in a comprehensive behavioral program for weight loss. So very different than in this study. And that hasn't been replicated, although it sure is tantalizing. By comparison, In two other trials of naltrexone for weight loss in patients taking antipsychotics, there was no advantage over placebo, though in one study that measured metabolic parameters, there was a decrease in fat mass and a trend toward decreased insulin resistance. 
So other trials of naltrexone for weight loss in patients taking antipsychotics have not been anywhere near as impressive as that 2014 study from Yale. In conclusion, well, this was an industry-sponsored trial, and the naltrexone studies I mentioned were not, and this one had plenty of input from the company, according to the author information. So given that, and the less than stunning results, I think we could wait for more evidence that samidorfin is really worth adding in patients taking olanzapine, and that it is a better choice than just adding generic naltrexone if you're going to add something. Thank you for that, Jim. I've summarized some of the points from this quick take for all you deserving listeners. Sammy Dorfan is a new opioid receptor antagonist that has been found to reduce weight gain induced by olanzapine, more than placebo. However, more evidence is needed to prove clinical significance. The only significant adverse effect of Sammy Dorfan has been more somnolence compared to placebo. So since you took the time to listen to this quick take, why don't you listen to the full audio and earn yourself some CME while you're at it? Click on the link in the transcript and become a premium member to earn your deserved psych nerd credits. If you're already a premium or premium plus member and you refer a friend to join our platform, you will receive a $50 Amazon gift card. You can also choose to join our newsletter and receive weekly updates delivered straight to your inbox. The following people participated in this episode. Dr. Flavio Guzman as a general editor, Andy Rode as the audio engineer, Pamela Gonzalez as the project manager, and myself, Dr. Wegdan Rashad as the host. We'd also like to thank Dr. Jim Phelps for being with us. Thank you for joining us in today's podcast. Until the next episode, goodbye. Goodbye.